Michael Williams. I am so excited and so thankful for this family gathering today um, with my cousins and their children and their children. This is such a blessing that we are able to be together to spend some time when we are not coming together for a death. I'm just so thankful to the Lord because he has kept us another year and I pray that we will be able to get together again real soon. Did you ever meet your grandmother? Yes, I met my grandmother. My, I met um, Grandma Becky when I was, um, we came to Baltimore when I was three, so Mama worked, Mama taught school, and my, my, my older siblings, they went to school, but I was the one that Grandma Becky kept. I stayed home all, all day, every day with Grandma Becky. Mama dropped me off before she went to work, and I was the one that stayed with Grandma Becky all day. Yes, yes. I stayed with, I did know my grandmother, and my, and my grandfather, oh my gosh, George Williams, we, I was so thankful that when, um, I was grown, I mean, fully grown when we lost granddaddy, so, yes, um, I was able to spend a lot of time with, with our grandfather, he was so loving, so kind, and he was so good to all of us, no matter how old we were, whenever we went home, um, to visit them, you never went home unless Granddaddy sent you home with something. I remember the first year that I drove to South Carolina on my own, I had a 1974 Mustang. And my mother and my daughter at that time, Ava, we drove to South Carolina. And Granddaddy gave us so much stuff to bring back home that he had to go downtown and buy a luggage rack to put on top of my car for me to bring these things back home. Benetta McCoy Melton. Oh, okay. I and am could you the tell oldest. me how you got all those names? They were given to me. Okay. <laughs> by different people. Mostly my mom. I'm the oldest daughter of Catherine McCoy, Catherine Benetta. McCoy. She she was Williams McCoy because we are the descendants of George and Rebecca Williams. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And that's why we're here, right? Exactly. Because this is the family reunion. Of exactly. Yeah. George yeah, and reunion. Rebecca. That's correct. Williams. That's okay. correct. I've enjoyed seeing my family. I have not seen some of them. It's been over ten to twenty years that oh I have. My. Have, have seen them, so I'm very glad to be here. Well, hopefully you, you guys can keep this going, you know, for your grand, for your, you know, your grandparents. Absolutely, absolutely. 
Because like your sister, that was your sister that we just interviewed, correct? You interviewed both my sisters, yes. Okay. Oh, they were both your sisters, okay. Yes, yes, that's You correct. know what, now I can see that they all, they were both your sisters. Y'all look alike. Yeah, people think we're triplets. And they asked, are you triplets? I said, yes, and I'm the oldest. I came out first. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> You were, where were you born? I'm sorry, where were you born? I was born in Camden, South Carolina, in my grandfather and grandmother's dining room. In the dining room as well. Okay, so with both your siblings. All, so, yes. well, all, Tommy you, was. So you have, uh, you have three siblings, correct? I have actually three. Jerome, Harold Jerome is my brother. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so we have to, um, we have to get... We have to interview him. He's not here. Oh, I'm he's sorry. not here? No. Okay, he couldn't make it. No. Maybe next, maybe the next time. Maybe the next time. Okay. So you you were born in um, Camden, South Carolina, you said That's on great. Campbell Street. On Campbell Street. In your in your grand in your grandfather's George Williams house. That's in correct. In the dining room. In the dining room. Okay, so how long were you living in Camden, South Carolina? I was uh, nine years old when we moved to Baltimore, Maryland. So nine years. Oh, for nine years. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you live in Baltimore now? No, I do not. I lived in Baltimore for 25 years. Oh, okay. So where do you live now? I live in Summerfield, Florida. Okay. With whom? My husband and my eldest daughter is with me. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And how old are your kids? My oldest daughter is 57 years old. The youngest is 52. Okay. And, and what's your husband's name? Jean. Edward Eugene Nelson. We call him Jean. Okay. So that must be the guy over there that I, I see over there that you're with. Probably. He's over there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, well, We've been married for 58 years. 58 years? 58 years. Wow. God has blessed us. Yes, he has. Yes, God has been blessed, blessed us. these George uh, Williams descents. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm just thankful that I was able to be here today, and I love all of my cousins, and I hope to see them soon again. I'm pretty sure all of your cousins love you as well. Thank and you. And y'all need to keep up the virtual. Yes, ma'am. And thanks for sharing. If I'm not mistaken, I think Cookie Johnson was born well, there. Well, I know Tina was born there. And Tina well. was born, yeah, Tina was born there. But for some reason, I'm thinking Cookie was born there, too. Okay. And, um, and um, that house, and my, I'm going to tell you, my grandparents in that house, uh, oh, my God, it was a special house. Well, I guess my grandfather built it. 
because it was the only house I ever knew that they had. The only house I ever, I ever knew them to have. And um, did they have a farm there or anything? Granddaddy always had a garden, and he always had um, what we would call like a, a, a shed, you know, a shed thing where he would dry meats and stuff. You know, where they would have people have gotten fresh meat, and he would dry the meats and stuff. And they had a big old wall, uh, walnut tree behind the shed that was between their house and, and Warner Brown's house and had uh, those black walnuts. And we would pick those black walnuts, so those things were really good. And uh, Granddad always had his garden on the, on the side of the, of the house that was like closest to the road. That's where the garden would be and everything. And he, what kind of tree did he have? Do you remember? I don't what remember what kind of tree? kind of trees he had. You don't remember like being a snake tree no, or anything no, like that? No, I don't remember any trees like that. But Granddad also worked at the greenhouse down to the campus. I guess it's called the camping forest now. But we always called it the greenhouse when we were born. And Granddad would come home in the afternoon. He would come home around one o'clock or so for lunch or whatever, which would really be dinner. You know, it would be it would be a heavy meal, would be dinner. And Grandma would um, she would churn the butter. She would churn the butter in the morning, and then after she turned the butter, she whip up one of those sweet breads that she called it. Which we, well, I'm talking about the sweet bread. Now I ain't talking about gingerbread yet. The sweet bread, which we today call pound cake, made with pure butter, and that thing was so good. And Grandma also used to whip up a, a, a gingerbread, like my sister's gingerbread, and that was good. And the thing that bothers me is that nobody, none of us, ever got that recipe. You know, we let Grandma take that recipe to her grave. We don't have that recipe for the gingerbread or the sweet bread that she called it. And um, and that was really good because when Granddaddy came home, we eat, we eat. You know, I thought she called it pudding. Huh? I thought she called it pudding. Pudding, called it pudding. Uh huh. No, honey, it was sweet bread. Sweet bread. Okay. Sweet bread and gingerbread. Okay. And um, and uh, and then then we'd be there. Grand then Granddaddy after he did that job, then he would leave because he was a painter. His granddad was also a, a painter. He painted um he painted houses and stuff. So after he did. The, something you know but I'm, we moved to Baltimore Baltimore Maryland we you know here we moved here and um, so yeah so that that's it but you didn't have any brothers I have which 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 is my brother Harold what are, Harold, why is there so many Harold Harold Jerome boys I don't know where Henry Harold Bethel. came from it must have been somebody her, her, her grandmother was Rebecca. Harold must have been my somebody's relative yeah, I know so Harold must have been a relative, and Rebecca must have been somebody, somebody, something, their favorite sister or something, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, what we were saying, what were you asking, you asked me another question. Okay. I'm not sure. Don't you guys say? I'm going to move to Baltimore. So, oh, have your grandfather ever been to Baltimore? Because I'm not, I'm not who I am. I'm the interviewer. Yeah. My grandfather, yes, my grandfather would come to visit. My grandfather would come to visit. My grandmother would come to visit. And sometimes when my parents would be having problems, my grandma would come to visit so she could straighten it out. You know? <laughs> Yeah. You need one of them. I need that. Yes, yes, yes. 
grandma would come to visit and you know she sit them down and talk to them and everything you know and straighten them out she's trying to straighten it out yeah 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 she did she did see yeah. see as children you very very observant and everything but um uh, then my grandma when my grandmother got sick and uh, she was in New Jersey uh, she had diabetes Okay. Yeah, she had okay. diabetes. What part of New Jersey? She was in um, Patterson. Oh, okay. She was uh, actually um, with the, uh, I'm not sure whether she was with Uncle David or one of the children. She was I don't know if she got sick when she was up there or if she was doing taken up there because she was sick for medical care. But that's where she was when she died and I was just so thankful that I got a chance to see my grandmother before she died. I went in that room. I went in the room and it just hurt me to see my grandma laying in that bed. But I just remember um, something that she said to me which I will keep which I will keep confidential but it stays with me and I just I just love like, and granddad. And granddad was always there for us. They were, they were both of them. Granddad and grandma, they were always there for us. And I know they over here. And even when even when granddaddy we married, um, and we got a new grandma. What's her name? Grandma Katie. <laughs> Uncle David's mother-in-law, and um, and Grandma Katie was pretty right in the family. Uncle David lived. Uncle David lived in Patterson, New Jersey, oh, okay. and yeah, and Grandma and Katie was actually Aunt Christine's Aunt Christine's mother. Okay. So Uncle David's father was married to mother and daughter. Oh, okay. And so and so yeah, but 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 but, but Grandma Katie, she was she was she was a sweetie too. You know, she she you know, I guess they followed the routine. You know, she had to she had to she. Always called Mr. George. <laughs> oh, she was like, Mr. George. I gotta get Mr. George dinner and that's it. And I'll never forget when she was learning, when she was learning to George, she was learning to drive. She said, oh, okay, I'm going to Parallel Park. So I thought that Parallel Park was a park. I thought Parallel Park was a park. She said, okay, okay, I'll be back. I'm going to Parallel Park. So I said, well, why is my why is Grandma Katie going to Parallel Park? She's going to practice parallel park. <laughs> that was so funny. But but you know, when I look back on my on my life, my our, our whole family, my grandparents apparently taught their children to love each other. To love each other. And that's that's what I feel in my children to love each other. And and me and my sisters and my brother, we we love each other. We you know we'll take care of and, and yeah, family, family is just wonderful. And it would not, it would be nothing for us to be sleeping on Friday evening. And Uncle David and his kids and Aunt Georgia and Uncle Clyde and Fuzzy would be at that door. Wait, who was Aunt Georgia again? Aunt Georgia was Mama's sister, was their sister. Okay. And, um, and so Aunt Georgia was Catherine's sister. Aunt Georgia was Catherine's okay. sister. Yeah, yeah. And and they would be there. It would be it would just be any 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 time, you know, we'd be we just you know, we could be sleep on a Friday and they come, they spend the weekend, we have a good time at the weekend. And then, yeah, yeah, and then when we got when we had opportunities, we would go to New Jersey to visit to visit um my mother's sisters and brothers, you know. And Patterson, right? Patterson, yeah. Yeah, Patterson, New Jersey. And we had, um, there was, for, like, Cookie was my age. My cousin Cookie, Cookie was passed. Cookie, Cookie Johnson. Okay. Cookie Johnson was my age. And so it's like we all had, had, uh, you know, somebody, one of the children, we all had somebody our age, except we all young ones. But us older ones, we always had somebody that was close to our age. But I just have to say, my grandparents taught us to be a family and what a family is all about and how to love your family. That's why even though we don't see all of y'all, we don't see everybody, that's why we're here now. That's why we're here now because we got to do it. And this cannot be the last time we do it. We have got to do it. We got to. We got to. We got to. Yeah, and we got to love one another. Which means we. Yes, we do. Yes, 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 we do. Okay, and that's the end of my story. Bye. Thanks for sharing.
My name is Gene Melton. Uh, my wife is Karen Roberta McCoy Melton, and we live with uh, we live in North Central Florida. We have one daughter, Katrina, who lives there with us, and our other daughter's married. She's up in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And I think this is a great thing for the Williams family to get together and try to stay in touch and you're giving each other the roses without having to go to a funeral. So it looks like everyone's enjoying themselves and I know some of the relatives haven't seen each other for 10, 15, 20 years or longer. So it's really it's a good thing to get together. And I'm so happy to see so many of the Williams family here today. So it's a great thing to do, especially on Thanksgiving Day. So uh, I'm enjoying myself and I think everybody else is too. Before you went to Florida, you used to live in Baltimore, right? Yes, Baltimore is one of my homes. <laughs> okay. Um, I moved out of Baltimore in 1978, following a job south. And I lived in the Atlanta, Georgia area for about 25 years, so that's really a little bit longer than Baltimore. Okay. But uh, I enjoy traveling, so we've done quite a bit of our lives. So we actually, after retirement, my wife and I, we actually lived in Central America about five years, and from 2010 to 2015. And we came back to the United States. States to Florida in 2015. So uh, we've enjoyed it. We've seen a lot, uh, many parts of the world. I've been over 60 countries worldwide during my time and I've enjoyed it. And uh, I still got a few more trips to make. What did you do before you retired? My, my career is basically in quality assurance, in manufacturing, and also in aviation. And, uh, Work for companies that whose suppliers had to be audited to make sure that they were in compliance to the airline and other standards. And that's what I did. I'd go to a facility and uh, with my checklist and go through a checklist and check yes, good, or no, go. And that's what I did most of my life. It's in quality assurance. So it's been good. I've enjoyed it. I've been retired for the last since 2010. Wow. So uh, yeah, we're still traveling. Uh, my wife and I just got back from a European River Cruise about two weeks ago. And uh, I've been able to fill, fulfill most of our places that I wanted to go. We've been to China, we've been to Japan a couple of times, uh, we've been to many countries in Europe and uh, South America and Central America as well. So it's been a good life and we've been truly blessed. And it's so good to see to see so many of the Williams side of the family here today. So and um, so it's just a good thing to do. So I just wish everyone have a thank happy Thanksgiving, enjoy the time here and have safe travels back to where the home may be. If you could pick one country that you've been to, what would be your favorite? I've been to the motherland, and I would say probably Ghana, West Africa is my favorite. Um, I found out that my ancestors on my mother's side, that's a part of Africa that they're from. And I've made about four trips to West Africa, different countries, and I've made two trips to East Africa, to Uganda. But I would say probably Ghana, and uh, it's a beautiful country, very, uh, a lot, lot of greenery, all types of fruits and so forth, and it's um, people that are very friendly, and it makes me feel fortunate that I'm able to do some things to give back to those folks who are less fortunate than we are. So that's what my wife and I have done. We uh, helped bring clean water systems to several villages there in Ghana, and also in Uganda, East Africa. So we, we've enjoyed it. And, uh, Hope there's still some more things that we, we want to try to do. So, but I would say right now, as far as a personal feeling, Ghana is probably a place I, I, I really felt the best about going to visit. And actually, just stepping foot again on the, on the motherland, West Africa. But uh, I've been to Tokyo, I've been to uh, Rio. To Toronto, London, Paris, other places too. But I 
would say my trip to Istanbul, Turkey was very enjoyable. I went there and had a chance to see some of the older buildings and learn a lot about the culture. So it's, uh, I've enjoyed every last one of the trips. All of them have been good. So, and uh, I think more people should try it. Just take the time to go see places that they can afford it, that they've always seen about on TV and magazines. If you're able to take the time, your health is good enough to do that and you can afford it. Go out there and don't wait, don't put it off. That's the point I promised.